Buenos dias. Hey, buenos dias. What's uh, the mission for today, the plan? Um, today we're going to see, we're going to try and find some sea caves. So we are in Calida Partida. It's the north side, it's between Espiritu Santo and Isla Partida. And there's a cut through that we can get through at high tide, which is right now. Yep, high tide's right now. Um, we cut through in the dinghy and then we start heading kind of southeast and we should find some sea caves down there that we, I think you can, they're pretty big. So cool. we'll go explore that. And then after that, we're going to get underway and go to another anchorage. Awesome. It, we're going to put Phoebe on the 360 cam today. Love it. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, let's what's, see that dance. what's your 360 dance? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Hey, I like Thank you. It. I'm Gen Z, so we oh. love dancing. Oh, shit. We love you guys dance. are born dancers. Born TikTok dancers. I don't think that's a TikTok dance, though. Well, it is now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See me, universe, internet yeah. world? Copy this. <laughs> of the dinghy going through this really narrow cut. You mean to drive? Uh, or you want me to fly? You can fly. Let's copy that. We only had a couple of hours to find the cave and make it back through the cut again before the tide changed. As we came around the northeastern corner of Espiritu Santo, we were in awe at the contrast to the western side of the island. Our anchorage in Calida Partida was covered in cactus and trees and beautiful beaches, whereas the eastern side was sheer cliffs where the island had ripped away from the mainland millions of years ago. The colors and textures in this zone were breathtaking, and we had a field day soaking them all in. It made us wonder how the Sea of Cortez was created, and it turns out a major fault line that separates the Pacific and North American tectonic plates is continuously opening to let new earth come through at the ocean floor, which in turn increases the rift between Baja and mainland Mexico. And as this rift continues to grow under the ocean, it's actually pushing the Pacific plate northwest at a speed of about three to four inches a year. And it's taking the Baja Peninsula and much of California with it. Uh, layers, it's like a layer cake behind me, in front of me. It's really cool to actually look at. I really want to learn more. Maybe there'll be a voiceover coming up soon about what's happening here, but it's like you can see history in the rock layers from really dark to really light to red desert and then like black volcanic line as well. It's really, really impressive. And we're about to go in this big cave. It's really cool. Yeah, like everyone's been saying, these layers are just crazy, but then also like all this conglomerate rock with like the boulders that just look like they just got stuck up there and epoxied. Like it's a little eerie, um, but also just like so impressive. It's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> it smells good. What's it smell like? Fresh earth. Yeah, it does smell pretty good. It's no. cool and damp and fresh. And like, like this look. rock is really ready to go Come on. right here. Come on, Come right? on. So this, this is one right above us. It's like half the size of the dinghy and it's holding on by like just a little piece. When you go, you go, I guess. Being dropped by a rock in a cave <laughs> in Baja. What do you find, folks? <laughs> Hey guys, we just wanted to take a quick minute to share that this video is sponsored by Anchor Solix. 
This is their C1000 portable power station and we've been using it for a ton of cool things on Lintica. We love plugging this in to charge in the middle of the day when all of our boat system is completely charged up. We still have power coming through the solar panels so we can direct that to this and it gives us that extra bit of capacity. This thing charges super quick. In just 58 minutes, it'll get to 100%. It charges 27.5% faster than similar power banks with the same capacity. It can also take up to 600 watts of solar, which can charge the battery in about 1.8 hours. This thing has 11 ports in it, 1,056 watt hours of capacity, 1,800 watts of output, and 2,400 watts of surge wattage via the surge pad. It powers 99% of appliances. The Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station is available now. Click the link in the description below for more details. You're going to want one of these things. Don't miss out. We ended up making it back in one piece. And the next morning we woke up to a killer sunrise and a fun plan for the day. Today we're going to go snorkeling at Los Islotes. There's two rock islands. One of them has a really big arch in it and we saw it on one of our previous trips but it was really rough that day. We actually anchored here. This is the most northern west anchorage on Partida. We tried to dinghy out there. We just started taking on so much water. So we had to abort the mission, come back, move Lentica. So I was motoring Lentica back and forth while they snorkeled it. So it's calm today. It's calm right now. Hopefully the wind holds off for us a bit and we're gonna go out and try and snorkel this island where there's tons of sea lions, like huge sea lion colony out there. And yeah, get in the water, see what happens. There's some big boys. Some big boys. Phoebe, yes. have you ever snorkeled with sea lions before? I have never. Are you excited or are you scared? I'm both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be kind of crazy. I've never been in the water with animals that big. Also have heard that they kind of nibble on your hands a little bit, so definitely gonna we're all keep those close. They're one of the few species underwater that will actually interact with you. With you. Wow. you know, usually if you're diving, things are kind of moving away from you or staying, you know, staying out of your way. Um, but sea lions like really come up and play with you, basically like dogs. It's Sharky's, you know, not so distant cousin, I feel like. <laughs> the northern edge of Partida, Los Eslotes. Yeah, the audio pulling up to this island is just bizarre. All the sea lions are just screaming and yelling. <laughs> it's super loud, yeah. crazy. Maybe the look on your face right now is great. <laughs> 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 you like it, senor? I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I mean, the weather today is perfect for this. Yeah. It's so flat, calm. I don't think there's much current. We're judging by these boats floating out here, so we don't have to worry about that. Last time there was a pretty strong current running, so we don't have to worry about that this time. Um, but yeah, I would swim straight over to the rocks. Nice protection. You're technically supposed to stay about 15 feet away from the island itself, so any dry area, stay off. And then it's really important just to keep your hands in because they'll, they'll come up and like, they, they never like cause blood, but they'll come up and they might like just grab on, just them playing. Like, grab onto your fins, that kind of stuff. So excited. <laughs> See Iggy's about to destabilize. Okay, yeah.
Did you, you got boop? I got booped in this by a little <laughs> snoot right on the side of my head by a little baby sea lion. And I screamed underwater and scared it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cool. They're crazy chill here. Like you can tell they're so used to having people in the water with them. Like I have shots of a couple that are just laying there with their eyes closed and even the big males were just sort of floating around with their eyes closed and stuff. Which yeah. Was surprising. Yeah. But right at the end before we were getting out there was another group that came. And there was a sea lion that like climbed on one of the snorkelers backs and was just chilling there so i went over and was getting shots of it i have one of a guy and one of a girl the sea lions just coming up and cuddling them fully just wrapped around them like this cuddling them and trying to put their nose up their life jacket fully like sharky does you know if your hands are like this and sharky comes and puts her nose in your hands to, like, yeah that's what they were doing that the sea lions are doing to snorkelers it's crazy so i've never seen that before it's really cool <laughs> when, I, when i first went to go get in i did a back roll in that was the first one in the water and this sea lion just came out from behind me jumped over the top of me hit the gopro knocked the bottom of the gopro handle off the clip and like just disappeared i was like what the fuck what is that <laughs> I thought I lost the GoPro because one half was missing. Oh, yeah. And that was just the start of it. And then I looked over it at Jack and Sonny. And like, uh, we're supposed to get in the water? Yeah. It didn't look very good. <laughs> We just got back to the boat and there's like a thousand bees and wasps all over. I think they come here for the fresh water. So we're gonna pull up anchor and get the heck out of here. Oh, big wasp on foot. Oh, me. Or on my foot. Hi. Ready for the snubber? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> Brick. Dangerous off the bottom. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. <laughs> After getting settled safely back at Kalita Partida, it was time to enjoy a snack and some drinks, which ended up fueling the night's activities. Do that again. Oh, you're gonna dance for it? Here we go. <laughs> we have a dance dude. Oh. So there's a bit of a backstory to this song, but all you really need to know is our lovely student Glenn had taken on the alter ego of Don Pilar on this trip. And we asked ChatGPT to write a song about his new identity. If you'd like to learn more about joining us for a cruising course on Lentica, 
head over to our website to check out which dates still have spots available. Huge thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. We love you guys and we're doing our best to put videos out more regularly and your support goes a long way. Even subscribing or dropping us a comment below adds up to more than you realize. I got deep, deep in the crack. It smells good.